okay so here beta as usual our today's topic that is food chains and food webs most important thing is that what is food chain food chain that means it would like to describe it would like to define as the feeding relationship between all the type of animals human being and all the type of living organism okay yes so that means who would like to be at the top who would like to be at the bottom okay so just like uh, i think that you remember about that herbivores carnivores omnivores okay and decomposers all that huh herbivores that means who would like to uh, eat like uh, means vegetables or means uh, grass and all that herbivores carnivores that which would like to eat them herbivores and omnivores who would like to eat like herbivores and carnivores and when they would like to die okay and then decomposers are the microbes okay do, do you know about microbes decomposers bacteria fungus and all that okay so when their body would like to come in contact of uh, soil then whatever microbes that would like to be there they would like to decompose their body okay or dead body understand and then in that condition it would like to it would like to uh, miss uh, break into its uh, constituent okay elements and then it would like to mix in soil sometimes that uh, if uh, they are mixed into the soil they would like to increase the fertility of the soil okay otherwise that means are you understanding that what i am explaining to you yeah yeah and also beta population so that means basically food chain and food web they are totally depend on a particular area of cross section okay suppose that in any area you are living there okay in america anywhere so in which state that you are living at this time in canada i think yeah oh okay so suppose that in canada so surrounding to you i think that there are living organism which you would like to be able to see over there so also there is a type of population or there is a definite population of specific species okay which you will be able to see over there with respect to animal okay or human being okay so as usual that regarding to advanced uh, food chain human beings are at the top of food chain why they generally used to eat everything <laughs> okay as usual that suppose that we are means herbivores carnivores omnivores any type of food material that we generally use to consume so that means we are at the top of food chain with respect to animals if you would like to think about so as usual you can see that like uh, carnivores okay and uh, means wait um, herbivores omnivores omnivores they would like to be at the top of their like uh, lion tiger and all that okay herbivores like uh, gazelles and uh, means uh, buffaloes all this type of animals they would like to be at the bottom level okay and below them there are very means small species like rat rabbits okay all of there okay so uh, just to describe all this type of uh, um uh, mr uh, things in diagram there becomes a specific diagram which is known as pyramid okay chain pyramid or food web pyramid okay do you understand that mm-hmm. yes yes beta so means i didn't scroll down so that's means what your knowledge that i have regarding to like food chain or food web that a little bit that i am explaining to you okay now i will also underline all the type of important things over there at the last of at the end of chapter beta we will also take a test of that in which one that it will be a type of performance okay there will be 10 mm-hmm. questions okay so here first of all that there is a topic food chain food chain that means food chain that contains means a lot of things surrounding to there okay first of all that there is first term that is environment so what is environment environment means that means the surrounding in which you are living there okay or indirectly you can also understand there that's environment that means all conditions that surround a living organism okay or in which 
in which locality that we are living that is known as our environment okay do you agree that the environment of canada that is a little bit uh, means different of india here yeah it's more cool well, yes because there's climate their conditions okay and overall environment that is very very different from here okay there is a little bit summer season there is a there is can you tell me a big winter a big winter wow big winter that means there is a cold season that means uh, i think there will be temperature of uh, maybe 5 degree centigrade 8 degree centigrade or 10 degree centigrade huh mm -hmm. yes so you can see that their environment or climate that is cold okay but here in uh, india specifically at my place in lucknow here temperature is approximately 28 degree centigrade okay so the total environment that is changed with respect to you to me clear so that means all the type of living organism that would like to be there okay okay mm -hmm. so at this time if you would like to see a surrounding to you so always that you would like to see that feather animals okay there okay surround to you who would like to come out okay so in that condition and here that you would like to see that means all the type of means if there is a normal temperature 28 30 degree centigrade okay so every person that would like to come out from their places okay just for their Uh, daily basis activities so basically that environment that creates important role in food chain beta okay because mm -hmm. regarding to environment it would like to classify that what type of animal that you will be able to see surrounding to you clear clear yeah next one is habitat habitat that means the place where an organism lives okay a specific place suppose that i am here in india and in lucknow okay so here that means i would like to i would like to habitat myself with respect to lucknow yes if instantly i would like to come tomorrow in uh, america so few days that i would like to take to uh, just uh, habitat myself with respect to america yes everywhere that i have to go to there suppose that here my family would like to speak in hindi specifically okay i generally used to talk to everyone in english but my wife my child they are not habitual of that one so habitual means what when they would like to go to america then sometimes they would like to suffer over there okay why because that here that we generally used to say uh, different things with respect to different terms okay when we would like to go over there then all the things that would like to change okay environment that will also change okay and then we would like to survive in that habitat okay understand beta mm -hmm. also the third term that is population surviving okay that is totally depend on population also beta okay Mm -hmm. suppose that you can understand in this way suppose that there is a limited amount of fuel okay in america mm -hmm. if almost that 30% of indian that would like to go over there in canada or in america okay so is there will be a type of affection that would like to be with respect to fuel over there or not yes okay so basically that population also create important role in food chain okay suppose that whatever food that would like to be up to 10 people or 10 american people over there okay if three of P indian people that would like to go to there to live okay since so that condition that 13 people that would like to consume over of all that food that was available for 10 people clear so 100% survival will be there okay are you understanding that beta mm -hmm. yes and then in that condition one important thing that you have to be consider means not in considered that is truth that is truth what suppose that when i would like to come to canada okay you are indian you are indian mm -hmm. oh yes so you are indian suppose that if you would like to see me over there 
okay i am on the road and i am thinking about what i have to do over there okay so in that condition of being an indian that you would like to come to me okay and then you would like to say you would like to ask to me that sir uh, can i help you then then i would like to say i would like to tell you that uh, if i am feeling any type of problem or for either that somewhere that i want to go over there okay and then because they what americans they would like to means uh, be a little bit partial over there you know why because that why because that they have their own community beta okay they have their own community firstly they would like to look after all those people who are american okay and after then if there will be a little bit condition to help to me then they would like to come to me okay and then they will help me okay but of being indian that and you are in canada if i would like to go over there and if i am a little bit suffering over there so of seeing me you would like to come to me fastly okay and then you would like to ask me about my problem and if that will be in your limit then you will try to resolve that do you agree with this condition or not mm -hmm. great okay and then all this when combined together then it will form a ecosystem okay ecosystem that means when community and habitat okay that will combine there in which that organism would like to live there that is known as ecosystem okay if you would like to change a state from one state to another state okay or if you would like to change in america few states okay then you can see that gmt also would like to change over there okay yeah i generally used to teach that many students so they are in america especially in canada also okay america canada canada is also the part of america canada is a state over there okay so in that condition that gmt would like to change over there so what does it mean it means that over a few states okay that ecosystem that is changing okay in ecosystem that environment will change habitat will change population also will change and you would like to see the different communities also over there okay each and every ecosystem okay ecosystem that is the place that where you are living okay and you are able to see surrounding to you clear yeah. now was the food chain here food chain that shows that the different species of an organism in an ecosystem okay and what they generally used to eat okay mm -hmm. yeah now do you understand up to here beta yep. yeah great so here you can see that uh, yes okay yeah so this one is important beta so specifically what is food chain here you can see that it's a definition which you have to learn over there that means what i had explained that in brief that you can see that is written here a sequence okay of feeding relationship between the organism okay showing which organism eat what and the moment of energy through tropic levels okay do you understand this statement yeah i can explain you in a little bit much easier way suppose that they are saying that transferring of energy okay suppose that if we'll take example of herbivores okay so herbivores they generally used to eat plants okay and vegetables okay so from plants and vegetables okay they would like to take energy okay when they would like to take energy that energy would like to store over there in their body clear when they are when they would like to be uh yeah uh, when they would like to be eaten by a uh, carnivores okay so carnivores like lion tiger and other wild animals okay so when wild animals like lion tiger would like to eat the herbivores okay like gazelles buffalo deer okay and all other okay so then what when they will eat them so also energy would like to transfer from herbivores to carnivores or not beta hmm? clear mm -hmm. so and then herbivores 
to carnivores and when carnivores would like to die and some of carnivores are also there also that you had heard about that sometimes that if uh, there will be any tiger over there or any leopard over there or any cheetah will be there so you always used to hear that lion would like to kill them okay because lion that would like to be almost top of the food chain okay why because that if one animal that is eating other one so that animal will be the top of that animal whom he is eating okay so basically that food chain that would lie that is defined as the combination of all the type of different species regarding to their okay label and energy understand understand great when you would like to uh, revise your class beta then you'll be able to see all that okay basically you know that that here i am explaining the first time to you okay when you will take that second science class then third science class and also that whatever that i am explaining that to you you are seeing that that i am telling you right okay because each and everything whatever i am explaining that to you that the same thing that you are seeing that that is written on your screen clear Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when you revise that beta, it will increase your efficiency, Rohan. Okay. Mm-hmm. So now next topic that is beta producer and consumer. Wait. Producer beta fundamental producer. You can understand that they will be plants. Okay. They are plants. Okay. So plants. Mm-hmm. That means you can. Uh, do you know that about photosynthesis? Yep. Okay. Can you tell me? you get the plants get energy from the sun they convert it to a part of sugar they get um water from the soil and they they get the part rohin okay okay water. yes beta i understand <laughs> you are right you are right but suppose that beta if your teacher would like to ask you about that what is photosynthesis okay so you have to write this definition over there okay just give me one second i am opening my graphic tablet yes yeah i am writing the t- uh, photosynthesis photosynthesis so what is it okay so photos- yeah you can see that but you have to write this one the process process of making food by plants plants in the presence in the presence presence of sunlight sunlight carbon dioxide that is co2 and water okay that is known as photosynthesis okay mm-hmm. so when your teacher or when this question will come in your test paper you have to write this one beta that means the process of making food by plants in the presence of sunlight carbon dioxide and water is known as is known as photosynthesis okay clear so you understand it mm-hmm. so basically that in food chain okay always remember that food chain starts with producer producer that means plants are producer 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 that means basically plants okay so that means when plants would like to adopt the process of photosynthesis they would like to make their food okay so that food that means in protein vitamin carbohydrate everything that would like to store in them okay then okay. from from plant wait plants plants then when plants would like to be eaten by herbivores okay herbivores okay and then herbivores they would like to be eaten by carnivores okay 
carnivores and then carnivores they would like to be eaten by uh, omnivores okay omnivores okay and omnivores then again when they would like to die then it would like to decompose in soil okay decomposers 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 that means they would like to be uh, like microbes bacteria and all that okay means that's why that you can see that suppose that if uh, there will be any animal okay that would like to die okay in open air within few hours that it would like to smell or not hmm well hello okay, i'm asking that suppose that if there will be any animal that would like to die in mm. open air in some in some hour okay within few hours that it would like to smell okay so mm -hmm. what does it mean it means that then when there will be no life in any body okay then it would like to then then decomposers that would like to make their house in that body okay why because that dead body is the food of decomposers okay mm -hmm. and when decomposers would like to decompose that then their that animal's body that would like to split into different things okay nitrogen sulfur and all that and then it would like to mix in soil okay in okay. soil okay and what mix in soil means what it will increase okay increase the fertility of soil okay fertility of soil clear and mm -hmm. again you can see that when it will be fertility of soil so more and more plants that will start to grow over there and then you can see that from this condition again you will start to plants over there clear so this is the whole process which you are seeing over there okay wait i'm uh, covering that with the green one yes so it is the whole thing that is known as your food chain okay yeah. do you understand that sorry hold on rohan do you understand beta mm -hmm. food chain Miss, uh, in brief, that I explain that to you here in your book that you would like to be able to see that all that. Okay, it's very very important. Okay, do you understand what I have explained that on your screen, beta over here? Yeah. Great. I am refreshing that, beta. When you would like to see your class video, that you will be able to see all of that as it is. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's coming that. Uh, because that uh, after refreshing that i would like to underline uh, many of things that would like to be important over there yes we can come to here yeah so what i was i had explained that just few minutes before can you also be able to see that everything over here a food chain always starts with producer just before i explain this one to you or not and also i told you that producer that means plants okay which would like to make their food in the presence of sunlight by the process of photosynthesis okay give me one second beta yeah i'm back thank you so basically that beta here you can see yeah so uh, yes do you understand producer bete so producer you can also see that i am clicking over there yeah plants that begin food chain by making energy from carbon dioxide and water wow rohan you can see that it's evidence that whatever that i told you that is correct clear mm -hmm. yes beta you will take a you are very intelligent no doubt i know that you are trusting me i am also trusting you that one time will come that when you will be perfect yaar everything that will be on your fingertips yes but for that beta you have to see your class videos again and again suppose that means not in mathematics when i would like to explain a little bit typical topics in mathematics or science then there will be requirement of seeing your class videos okay so basically that 
I mean to say that means I am not enforcing to see your class videos because you are intelligent. Maybe that you would like to see each and everything. But suppose that you don't have this book, okay? But when you would like to see your video, then you will be able to see that. Oh yes, sorry, Sala had explained each and everything to me over there. Are you understanding what I mean to say? Are you understanding? Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Here, but uh, next, because you can see that producer, that means an organism that make food, okay? Organism that can make food. It is usually, this is usually green plants, okay? Be because plant can make their own food by the process of photosynthesis. Wow. Here, whatever term that I explained to you, photosynthesis, also here you can see that, okay? I am clicking that and it is the best definition which you have to learn that. What? A chemical process used by plants and algae to make glucose, oxygen and carbon dioxide and water, okay? Using light energy, okay? The same thing you are seeing that but in different way, okay? As I explained that to you, as I had written over there, that means the process of making food by plants in the presence of sunlight, water and carbon dioxide, okay? Because that you can see that whatever carbon dioxide that is present in environment, okay, where it would like to go? It would like to be consumed by plants, okay? Means whatever, means suppose that we are breathing, clear? So we are breathing the, so that in each inhale, okay, so that we are taking oxygen from atmosphere, okay? And then what are we doing after? We are releasing carbon dioxide into atmosphere or not? Yeah. So basically that when we are releasing carbon dioxide, me, you and everyone, okay? So surrounding to us that the amount of carbon dioxide that would, the level of carbon dioxide that would like to increase surrounding to us or not? Yeah. But we don't feel any type of suffocation because as usual that carbon dioxide that is a little bit poisonous gas. Why we don't feel any type of suffocation? Because, yeah, tell me. Because we're used to it. No, beta. <laughs> no, we are used to it. Yes, that's another thing. Beta, whatever, whatever, beta, carbon dioxide that we are releasing that carbon dioxide is used to our surrounding plants, okay, in the process of photosynthesis to make their food. Understand? Uh -huh. Yes. We are not, I miss. Mean, suppose that if anyone would like to ask you that, uh, where it would like to go? Why we don't feel any type of suffocation? So, you don't have to say that we are used to do. No. Because we are habitual or we are used to because that that amount of carbon dioxide that is totally consumed by plants because carbon dioxide that is very essential for their food okay clear mm -hmm. yeah so now mm -hmm. and when they would like to consume carbon dioxide okay you can see that here is also a type of food chain with respect to what with respect to plants animals and us you know how whatever amount of miss whatever amount of oxygen that we generally used to take okay while breathing okay then we would like to release carbon dioxide then that carbon dioxide that would like to be consumed by plants okay and then again in the process of photosynthesis they would like to make glucose okay oxygen okay and carbon dioxide again Okay, a little bit water. Okay, so here you can see that glucose oxygen. Okay, so that oxygen also that would like to spread out in the atmosphere and again we would like to take that oxygen. So in this type of this cyclic process that would like to run continuously and we are surviving here on earth. Clear? Mm -hmm. Great. So next is beta. Here you can see that there is a and yes, food chain end with a consumer. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, who are consumer? Basically, that consumer, that means an organism that obtain its energy by eating other organism. Wow. Now, you can see that whatever that I explained that before scrolling down, 
Now you are seeing that each and everything that is right. Okay. Everything that is written over here. Okay. And Rohan, you can do you notice one thing? Each and everything that is written in the same way as I explained that to you. As the yeah. same statement, beta. Why I am telling you this one? I am telling you this one because you also have to write in the same way, beta. Okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. If you will not write in the same way, then no marks will be given. Sometimes, miss. Yes, I remember that a few uh, months before that when there was finals in America. Okay. Then few of his students of of seeing their final uh, book. Okay, whatever paper that they had uh, completed, so of seeing their uh, paper, okay, of their solution, then they told me that sir, uh, of uh, suppose that there was a question of five marks, then my teacher gave me only three marks. So then they sent that picture to me, and then I explain what what I what I had seen over there. I was seeing over there that that answer was not completed. That was incomplete answer. They know everything, but they was they were not able to explain that in a convenient way. So that means better suppose that if you will learn all these whatever I am underlining, so when the question that would like to come regarding to this one, you will be able to give the efficient answer of that. Clear? Clear. Yes. So basically, I am requesting you to learn all these beta which I am underlining here. So here, beta, there is example of simple food, simple food chain. Simple food chain means what? Okay, grass, cow, and human. Sorry to <laughs> see that. Okay, means what does it mean? Means please pardon my fault here because that uh, you and many of persons would like to see this video. I am not intend to say that grass that will be eaten. Grass they are producer. Grass will be eaten by cow and uh, please sorry i am not saying anything <laughs> okay and that would like to be consumed by human okay mm -hmm. yeah because as usually you know that in uh, hindu religion that cow is very cow is considered yeah. as the mother please sorry that's why i didn't say that sentence Please, I hope you understand that what I mean to say. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Please, sorry. I'm Hindu. That. Yeah, pardon? I'm Hindu too. Oh yes, I know that, beta. That's why that I didn't say that. Okay. So yes, yes, an intelligent student they would like to understand that. Okay. So beta, please kindly tell me one thing, beta. Honestly, just tell me that whatever I explained that to you up to here, do you understand clearly or not? Yep. Fantastic, beta. Thanks for your appreciation. Oh my God. <laughs> I will increase your efficiency within few days. Don't worry. Yes. And also, beta, you can see that this one is your food chain. Okay. I'm explaining from down to top. Okay. You can see clearly. Are you seeing my moving cursor over there? Here on grass. Mm -hmm. Great. Beta, grass is our producer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Grass is our producer. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Please, sorry. Uh, grass is our producer. That means uh, uh, plants or grass. So, grass means plants. Plants would like to take, uh, means. Uh, nitrogen sulfur and all the other components from soil okay and then in the presence of sunlight and the process uh, they are the process of photosynthesis by which they would like to make their food okay and then they would like to be means full of means protein carbohydrate vitamin and all that okay so that's why they are because they are making their own food that's why they are known as producer okay you can also understand in this way suppose that when a person would like to make his own film then that is known as producer okay because he is making its own film clear okay 
yeah means with respect to film i am telling you okay so any person okay any person either human being either plant or animal who would like to arrange their own food okay by their own either food or any type of facilities okay which would like to be available surrounding to them they are known as producer okay mm -hmm. clear so when producer would like to produce food okay then producer that would like to consume by consumer okay here consumer means what consumer means whatever film that would like to be produced by producer that film that would like to be that would like to be distribute over distributor or not and then distributor they would like to distribute that to their respective reason okay so here consumer are the distributors clear here also but with respect to here that because we are studying bio so also that uh, means i can give you a lot of example regarding to just to understand this concept okay but basically that we are studying bio so that's why that first one that is your grass as producer then there will be consumer in consumer like you can see that grass would like to be eaten by grasshopper okay and grasshopper that is consumer so there are two type of consumer prime herbivores and then primary consumer okay herbivores that means herbivore that means which totally depend on grass okay okay and then primary consumer primary consumer that means which would like to be depend a little bit on grass and also a little bit on other food okay understand mm -hmm. great yeah. and then so after consumer then there is a secondary consumer okay primary consumer that means your herbivores herbivores that means grasshopper okay so after primary consumer yeah that's why that i explained that you in consumer that there are two types of okay means not of two types there are many type of with respect to their label okay so first one that is your grasshopper which is your herbivores because it generally used to eat means grass okay that's why it is known as grasshopper okay so next one that is frog okay so frog that means it is carnivore okay it's a carnivore so it's a secondary consumer okay because it generally used to eat grasshopper means in different uh, uh, means uh, wildlife channels like national geographic or uh, discovery or any other channels when if you are seeing any type of documentary okay regarding to wildlife so they also would like to explain uh, means food chain over there okay so many of clipping that you would like to see that there is a, a frog over there okay nearby a grasshopper and instantly it would like to open it, uh, its mouth and just enlarge its tongue and then grasshopper would like to come in its mouth okay so that means that here frog will be secondary consumer understand bete yeah now what will be your tertiary consumer tertiary that means consumer of third level you would like to see that suppose that if there is a, a little bit big frog okay and if that would like to reach up to the top level of any uh, uh, means any tree you can say that or suppose that if that would like to be visible on grassland okay so 100% that there is a tertiary consumer you can understand there is a hawk okay so hawk would like to yeah 100% that it would like to consume that frog okay because it is also the third level of carnivore okay because it would like to eat meat okay understand bete yeah i understand yes and hawk so up to hawk there is no one okay why because as you can see that they would like to move in the sky okay so only one condition is that when there will be a type of natural death of theirs okay then they would like to come down to earth okay and then after tertiary consumer then in food chain there will be the fourth level there will be what decomposers clear so when their body when the hawk's dead body would like to come down on earth then it would like to be decomposed by decomposers then all the type of protein vitamin minerals and all that they would like to consume and then 
again they would like to increase the fertility of soil beta and then on that soil again with the process of photosynthesis plants will start to grow so this complete process is known as your food chain do you understand it mm -hmm. great okay so come to the next page so what you have to understand over there you have to understand that up to here beta you just have to keep in your mind that the first consumer in the food chain that are known as primary consumer okay there is definition also there beta primary consumer that means the name given to the organism that eats a producer okay a herbivore okay primary consumers are almost 95 percent they are herbivores okay primary consumer clear i mean 99 percent you can also consider that okay and then next one that is secondary consumer so secondary consumer that would like to be okay the animals or the creatures which would like to eat primary consumer okay or you can also understand that the organism that obtain that obtains its energy by eating the primary consumer clear mm -hmm. and the third one there will be the tertiary consumer tertiary consumer by its name that also you can understand that which would like to eat secondary consumer okay so here also that an organism that obtain energy by eating the secondary consumer okay yeah so a consumer means what consumer that only eat plants that is known as a herbivore okay herbivore that means an animal that feeds only on plant okay and a consumer that only eats animal that is known as carnivores okay that means flesh or meat sorry uh, meat okay so yeah the animal that eats meat or flesh only okay carnivores and what is omnivores omnivores is an animal that eat both plants and animals clear mm -hmm. uh, you know that i can tell you example of that uh, give me one second uh, Oh my God! Uh, I am just remembering that uh, there, there just a study that I was seeing that documentary, uh, monkey. Wait, which monkey was that? Uh, baboon. Yeah, baboons. Okay, baboons are considered as omnivores, beta. Why? Because they generally used to eat that leaves of plants or trees. Also, sometimes you know that. They generally used to kill the other animals yeah like gazelle like yes you can search this one on internet also you'll be able to see over there and also that some videos will also be there on YouTube okay so omnivores that means the animals which would like to eat both plants and animals clear mm -hmm. and carnivores that means the animals which would like to eat other animals all me only that like lion tiger leopard okay they don't use to eat uh, uh means what uh, they don't use to eat uh, means plants they only eat the other animal okay other animals clear mm -hmm. uh no they are saying it is not available on your reason okay so here one thing that you have to understand beta we keeper graham royal talk about the importance of bees to found to the food chain okay we don't need to do that see see that so next that beta predators and prey okay predators and prey that means a predator predator that means which would like to exist in our past okay yeah you can see that i i'm not clicking still okay but you can see that predator okay do you do you ever see that film that alien versus predator maybe no i have it oh a um, miss oh okay no problem for that but a miss predator simply you can understand that predator okay that means which would like to exist in our previous time okay 
are in our past clear so hello yeah hello oh okay so here beta i am clicking there yes or oh, an animal that hunts kill and eat other animals for food that is also known as predator okay mm -hmm. so you can see that uh, miss predator also you can understand that here because that you can uh, you, you know that in english also one word that contains different meanings over there okay so predator that means the creatures which would like to be in our past also that predator you can understand that the animals or creature which would like to uh, eat the other animals okay so here that you can see that a predator is an animal that hunts and eat other animals okay and who are prey and the prey are the animals whom they are eating okay clear yeah so basically if you like to take example just before that we were taking that predators and prey so predators that you can understand that you know that predator with respect to frog and grasshopper you can see that predator that is your frog okay and prey that is your grasshopper okay and if you would like to compare with the frog and hawk then hawk is your predator and frog will be your what prey clear that of yeah. whom animals would like to eat other animals okay so animals who would like to eat other animals they are known as predator and which animal or yeah which animal they would like to eat that is known as prey clear yeah so here you can see clearly the frog is the predator and the grasshopper is the prey okay and yeah. also with respect to hawk and frog so hawk is predator and frog is its prey basically what you have to understand with respect to this one you just have to understand that all the animals that would like to be uh, means uh, above the food chain okay they will be predator and the animals which would like to be down in food chain they will be prey okay with respect to each other clear clear do you understand it yeah okay beta so as usual that you can see that it is of uh, five or six pages over there beta so as usual it was our first science class i within few hours that uh, you will be able to see that this class video of yours topic will be the same as food chains and food webs okay and you just have to revise that if you require that okay so in your next class that we would like to i would like to can explain okay we would like to continue from the first or second page okay i am asking to you yeah, finally yeah. do you understand all that which i had explained today to you mm -hmm. fantastic beta that's great thanks for your patience have a great time and please and please revise all that that i am explaining in each and every class beta if there is any problem means suppose that you are seeing your class video and if there is any type of question that would like to come in your mind so specifically just go to the go to the comment box and you can just write your question okay instantly you will get your answer okay i will give your answer instantly without okay taking time clear mm -hmm. okay beta so you just have to remember that in your next class that when it will be that we will start again okay we will continue from this chapter so thanks a lot have a great time and bye bye thank you